your glasses up, put your glasses up, a toast to the men. Welcome to a Toast to the Man Network with your guy, SD. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Megan Thee Stallion, Tory Lanez, Kelsey Harris. Now, unless you've been under a rock, living under a rock, you would know that Tory Lanez was found guilty on all three counts uh, against uh, against him. And he's up for appeal soon. You know, how soon that appeal will be heard, I don't know. Uh, I thought the brother would be exonerated, would be found not guilty or be, be acquitted. It did not turn out that way. I don't have a horse in the race. I don't know. You don't know what really happened. We're getting secondhand information. We were not there. So uh, I don't know if the brother is truly guilty. Just because he was found guilty doesn't mean he's truly guilty. Uh, and uh, I don't know. I don't know if, if Megan uh, is, <laughs> you know, lying about you know, the whole situation or not, she has been caught in quite a few lies. Kelsey as well, her friend. Uh, actually, Tori has lied the least, it looks like. And, and the two women have lied the most. Nonetheless, her brother was convicted. Like I said, though, I didn't think he would be. I thought he'd be exonerated or uh, felt not guilty. But, hey, that's not the case. But what I want to get into, man, is the personalities, man, the three personalities involved in this case, Kelsey, Megan, and Tori. Because I think they are a reflection of what goes on in society. Now, a few weeks ago, I did a video on a young lady, Shanquilla Robinson, who was uh, allegedly killed. We don't know yet. Allegedly killed by a friend or friends out on a uh, a vacation, a celebration out in Mexico. Uh, And I, I said that I've known women throughout the years who will hang with other women and really not trust them or not like them like that. But they have a sense of belonging. They have a, they want to have a sense of community, want to be connected to other women, want to be a part of a pack, a group. And so they will suppress any feelings they have and, and be in that group, be in that pack to belong, you know, to feel wanted or to fulfill a need of being wanted. And uh, they'll go on vacations with them, knowing they don't trust them, they don't like them, and, and they'll do it, you know. Uh, I get it, but I don't get it because I'm a man. I don't think men really roll like that. Uh, I don't know any that do, but I've known a lot of women that that rock like that. And, you know, fortunately, this situation with Megan didn't end up in death, but it could have. It it very well so could have, uh, but it didn't. But this is another situation, I believe, where women were connected that didn't really fool with each other like that, or one didn't fool with the other like that. It's obvious Megan did not really rock with Kelsey like that. Even though she made her her assistant, even though, you know, she paid for a room and board, had her traveling with her, <clears throat> there was jealousy and envy. She was going behind this girl's back and sleeping with the men she was sleeping with. She even set her up with Tori, suggested that she get with Tori. And the first chance she gets to sleep with Tori, when Kelsey's not around, she takes full advantage of it. That's not a friend. That's not someone who loves you. That's someone who's envious of you, who's jealous of you, who wants to be you. And even though Megan has the fame and the fortune, she can't be what she really wants to be. And that's really accepted in her full femininity. Kelsey's the alpha female. You know, I know we've been taught in this society that, well, recently, that the alpha female is the masculine female, the boss chick. It's not true. The alpha female, the one that the other women are jealous of, the masculine women are jealous of, is the feminine woman. That's the alpha. That's who the guys want. Most of the guys want the feminine female. That's the true alpha female, the feminine female. Let's take it back to high school, elementary, junior high, high school, college. These girls met in college. Uh, What girl, what type of girl was ridiculed? What type of girl uh, was beat up, was jumped, uh, had a lot of jealousy and envy coming her way, had a lot of gossip coming her way? The feminine. The feminine. There's two types of women 
who had a lot of gossip coming their way and people and other women hated. The one that was very promiscuous, right? And then the one that was very feminine that the guys liked. Very pretty, very feminine, very kind, very nice. They hated this girl. I've seen it myself, man. Girls hate on the feminine girl. I've seen it all my life. I've seen it. They really want to be her, though. She hasn't done anything to them, but they hate on her. They plot on her. They're jealous of her because they want to be her. And this is a situation just like that, I believe. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's envy, it's jealousy, it's wickedness. But we can't go too hard in old Megan because what? what is this? What is this? This is a school. Earth is a school, like I always say, for learning and teaching. And we're going through a process, we're going through phases in life. And this is a phase. This is something she can reflect on, really dive deep, do some self-examination and ask herself, why do I do what I do? Uh, and that's for all of us. And so this could be a learning, a, a, a learning moment, a teaching moment for her uh, to grow for all of them. Because Kelsey, she's not such a victim either. You know, we got to take accountability, even though she's the feminine, she's the alpha. What's, what is it in her that could be so easily swayed by Megan to get with Tori? Now, it seems like she had no interest in Tori. It was Megan's idea for her to get with Tori. Why do you move when Megan says move? And you guys may say, well, she has the money and the fortune. That's why she moved when Megan says move. No, I think this started way before that. I think that this has been going on since they met in college. They were drawn together for a reason. This has been going on. This just didn't start when Megan got money. This has been going on. And Megan kept her close because she could manipulate her. She could guide her. She could steer her in the way she wanted to steer her. And she really was jealous of her. She wanted to be her. I'm sure Kelsey is liked by a lot of people. A lot of guys may want to get with her. And, uh, you know, not so much for Megan, you know, pre-fame. You know, Megan's 5'10", Kelsey's like 5'2", five 5'4". Five you know, let's be real. A lot of guys, most guys are not trying to get with a 5'10 woman with no fame, no celebrity. Unless I said most guys are not trying to get with a 5'10 woman with no fame, no celebrity. All of a sudden, they come, become very attractive when they get famous or have celebrity. Most guys, most guys are going to go for the 5'2", five 5'4", five woman. Because most guys are not 5'10". The average height for a guy, I believe, is like 5'8", 5'9". Most guys do not want to be with a taller, bigger woman. Just They don't want to do it. Most guys don't want to do it. I didn't say all. I said most guys. And so I'm pretty sure Megan has some insecurities about her size, about her height, her build. Uh, you know, I'm sure most guys will holler at Kelsey back in school when they went out, opposed to, you know, hollering at Megan. I'm sure that's what went down. And so there's some insecurity there. But, you know, Kelsey has to look into herself. It's like, what's in me that's not confident enough to not be steered, not be guided? By someone so she can learn and work on that my boy Tory man he uh he played this wrong now I'm gonna move forward and then I'm gonna go back it was said that this really sparked off when Tory revealed to Kelsey that he and Megan had been sleeping together behind her back and that she's been doing this. She's slept with other guys that Kelsey has been with behind her back. That was a feminine move. Uh, that was his subconscious speaking, which is feminine. And what brought out the subconscious? Alcohol. They say a drunk tells no lies. And that's true. A drunk would tell no lies. It will break down any walls, any barriers, anything you got up. Uh, it will break it down. 
a drunk tells no lies. He was definitely drunk. Everyone was drunk. Everybody was telling the truth. Drunks don't lie. Everybody was telling the truth. So he revealed that, and uh, things just escalated from there. But before we got to that point, let's go back. This probably doesn't even happen if he has a code that he lives by. He has a standard. He has a bar set, a more bar set that he just doesn't break. And he could have handled this two ways. He could have rejected Megan Thee Stallion when she made advances. Uh, I'm sure alcohol was involved, though. But he could have rejected her, refused her. Or he could have said... Hey, let's keep it transparent. Let's keep it honest. Let's bring this to Kelsey. Let's keep it out there because I don't want to do something behind her back, even though we're probably not in a, an exclusive relationship. You know, I don't want to rock like that. So let's keep it honest, transparent, or just refuse her. Those are two ways he could have handled that. He didn't do that. Fast forward. He comes out with this information. He's emotional. The liquor's in him. And all hell breaks loose. Now he's convicted, could potentially go to prison. If it's not overturned, he could potentially go to prison. And for what? For what? Emotion. Emotion, man. Alcohol, emotion, and women don't mix. I'm telling you, man, it does not mix. It's a bad mix. Alcohol, women. And emotion is a bad mix. And he was totally in control of all of this, man, from the beginning. I'm not talking about once they got in the truck. Well, he, he somewhat was then, too. He, he didn't have to reveal that information. But he could have rocked this totally different, man. He could have just steered this totally different. He could have been more player about it. And he really wasn't a player about it. He's been sneaky, like Megan was being sneaky. He was operating on her vibration, man, her frequency, when he could have, like, took the reins and said, no, nah, this is how this is going to go. And like I said, reject her or say, let's keep it honest and transparent. But he didn't do that. And, you know, this is where we are. Now, I'm not absolving Megan for her wrong. I'm not absolving Kelsey. But this channel is called A Toast to the Man Network. So primarily I deal with men because we can't control women. But all we can do is control our actions, the way we move. And and uh, I believe, you know, they'll either get in line or they'll get, get away, one or the other. Uh, so uh, we got to set the tone, set the standard, and let the chips fall where they may. But this could have been handled totally differently, man. And uh, like I said, I wish the best for them all because – they're young, and like I said, man, we're human. We got to learn, and then once we learn those lessons, we got to give back. We got to give back, man. So, um, yeah, I won't go too hard, but I got to be, you know, I got to be honest, and I got to keep it real, but uh, I definitely won't go too hard on them, man. And uh, we just got to set boundaries, man. We got to set goals. And listen, I've been in the position of all of them, right? I've been in the position of Kelsey where somebody tried to, 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 to son me, you know, my a homie, a former homie, me and him at, at a bar years ago. And uh, he sees these two chicks. He wants one of them and she's digging them. He's digging her and they want to leave. But he's like, man, she won't leave with me unless you get with the home girl, you know, so I look across, I look at the home girl. I'm like, nah, bro, that's not my type. And he's like, man, come on, man. Just just do this one for me. I said, nah, bro, get get a XYZ to go with you. I'm I'm good. He said, no, nah, man, she she's digging you. She wants to, she wants you to come with us. I said, nah, I'm good, bro. That's that's just there's no appeal there. You know, there's just no appeal. I'm good. Man, this brother actually got mad at me because he could control. My wood, he got mad at me, and uh, you know we got oh he got over it. But I'm like, damn, dude, I I don't <laughs> want to smash. I don't want to smash her, and uh, you know, so I could have been, you know, 
uh, Kelsey, but I'm just not wired like that. You know, I'm not wired like that. I know who I am. I mean, you, you ain't gonna do what you want to do with my wood. So, uh, but Megan, you know, controlled, you know, Kelsey's piece, her pie. She controlled her pie. Yeah, you know. So Kelsey has to do some inner work. Let's say, damn, how how did I allow this? You know, and this started when they met, I'm sure. It's just they didn't just start when Megan got famous and got money. This started back in college. I'm telling you. Yeah. Uh, I've been in situations where women I was with in a relationship with uh, family members have come on to me and I'm like, nah, rejected them. And to be honest, I didn't even reject them because of some high moral standard or some uh, being righteous, be real with you. I rejected them because really I was scared. Like, I was scared, like, if this was to ever come out, man, I might just come home, like, to some bullets or, or a knife. You know, like, if a woman finds out, man, you slept with her aunt or a cousin, that's not something she's going to be like, hey, uh, come home, we got something to talk about. Nah, man, she's just going to attack you without warning. And I ain't want that. I ain't want to deal with that. I'm just being real. I didn't want to deal with that. So I was like, no, nah, I can't cross that line. That's gonna That'll break up the family. But I don't want to deal with the raft of that. Yeah, yeah. So it wasn't like I was on some high more ground. I, I basically was scared. I was too shook to do it. Um, so that's just, that's just what it is, man. Um, now, Megan, I, I've never, you know, slept with a friend's girl. Ever. Never wanted to. Never wanted what another man had. So I've never been in that situation. Um, yeah, just I've never envied a man and wanted what he had. Never have. Never have. Um, what's his is his. What's mine is mine. And I just never crossed that line. Um, just never have. So I can't say I could really relate to Megan. But, you know, a lot of brothers can out there. But, hey, man, hopefully everybody can heal from this, grow from this, and uh, we got to raise the bar. It was too much sex, man, free sex going on in this case. We got to raise the bar. Come on, women. Women out there listening, got to raise the bar. Uh, Men, we can't be so free. Uh, You got to raise the bar, man. You really do. Can't just smash any and everything. Uh, And we got to make it a point of surrounding ourselves with high vibration people, man. The vibration was low in this mix, very low. And alcohol will lower your vibration. You know, it definitely will. Uh, So, you know, take breaks from the alcohol sometimes. I drink. I do take breaks. I do fast. I take breaks from the cigars, too. So these things are a little about vibration. Uh, take breaks. I know everybody has a vice. Uh, my vice may not be yours. Yours may not be mine. But we should abstain at times and take breaks and, and just try to really uh, uh, be on that frequency, that high frequency. You know, you know, it's tough. It's challenging. You know, but it's possible. So, hey, man, let me know what you think in the comments, man. Don't be too hard on Megan. We've all made mistakes. Uh, if Tori is totally, truly innocent, I hope he's exonerated. If not, hey, uh, wish that brother grace and mercy. And I uh, hope everybody can learn from this, man. Uh, it's tragic, but it's life. As always, from me to you, love. Peace.